But I also have the Hi, my name is Peter Reichart, and this is part of the show at Blackfish Gallery with Christy Weaver and Charles Siegfried. Here we have Shark Blanket, um, which is created in 2006. It's ink on a found uh, cotton felt blanket. I used a series of Sharpie markers that were all in various forms of, of dying and running out of ink, so I was able to work with uh, and, and, and build up the layer of value for the, the image. Uh, and then if I went too far over in the, in the dark, I would just pick away the felt here. I liked working on this blanket and creating a, a realistic pictorial image uh, or illusion of. Uh, this shark kind of coming through the water. I, I felt the blanket sort of created a nice aquarium-like frame. This is a series of, of uh, it's an ongoing series of, of works. They basically, they, they take multiple forms, but usually they revolve around creating some type of image on top of this set series of, of paintings. Uh, the paintings are interchangeable and until I put the actual like line down of tape here, which kind of creates the illusion of a diamond shape over the canvas and the paintings here. What, what do you call this? It's called Prop for an Illusion. Uh -huh. And the illusion being this diamond shape and prop being the series of, of paintings. So every time you show this, uh, it would be a different. Uh, it, yes, it takes a different, different okay. shape or a different form and a different uh, layout of yes. paintings. Yes. Here we have three drawings in an ongoing series uh, called California One, Two, and Three. Uh, they basically came about uh, by accident. I was working on drawing landscapes uh, from found photographs. Uh, and then I had them laying down on the floor of the studio and I had other other studio debris kind of laying around and going through it, sifting through it, and I ended up with these shapes on top of the images that I was working from and I thought to myself, those were interesting forms uh, uh, and it would be an interesting uh, drawing to create a, uh, a realistic... Are they cut off? Or no, uh... they're, they're, it's all one single sheet of paper but basically the, the rest of the picture is left unfinished, it becomes this void, uh, and, and that kind of stands in for a, uh, a question of, of us looking at the landscape and us wanting to know what this landscape is. And they're graphite on paper, uh, and they're from, they're, they're an ongoing series. Uh, really, they kind of came across uh, came out by studio happenstance. I was working from photographs and I basically take these photographs and I translate them through my hand and eye onto the paper so everything's drawn out you know one little piece at a time rather than gritting it out and then working from there I, I basically put a, a piece of paper on top so that you don't draw on them? I, Basically, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I put a piece of paper down so I kind of uh -huh. have an area set out that I, that I would uh -huh. leave blank. These are two drawings along the lines of the last series where they came out uh, from the idea of, of taking something and removing it from an image, something that would betray that uh, pictorial convention of creating space. That's marker on uh, paper. And that was a, uh, an image that I had taken from a book that I had purchased, just a found book. I really liked the image. And then this is a colored pencil drawing on paper of uh, the Eiger. And again, it kind of uh, takes that idea of removing something from it. And, and, and you know, it, uh, it's it's still an ongoing series. It's still an ongoing thing that I'm working with. But I like I like the uh, tension that happens from from removing something from the image. These are another ongoing series. Uh, right now, they're totaling ten drawings. This is just a small selection. They're uh, to me, these are pages from a book, and these are all ink on mylar, and they all. Uh, <laughs> 
They're all separate stories, but they're individual. Some are some are cut out. Some are uh, different applications of paint. Some are marker. Some are Indian ink. Uh, but like I said, pages out of a book all creating a different story, different narrative when put together. This is a whole one. It's an interesting material to work with because it's it's fluid like watercolor, but it's uh, you know it's very much like drawing as well. Working on the on the slick mylar surface is a whole new way of, of responding to the media because it, it, it requires you to act real real quick. Or, Use the small brushes. Yeah, work with small brushes and then and then blot out with ink. And then I'm also working with a series of, of uh, markers that work in different values. Uh, they all end up being very abstract up close. And uh, I like that aspect, that duality of being abstract, but also very... Uh, <laughs> pictorially uh, real in illusionistic sense. came about from this idea of creating a drawing using a material that's not typically considered a, uh, a uh, you know a drawing material, traditional material. So it's composed completely out of electrical tape. So if you can see that each piece here is a tiny piece of cut electrical tape. Uh, which, you know, can be just as fluid and versatile as, uh, I, I found it could be as fluid and as versatile as a line could be from a pencil or from a paintbrush. So everything's stuck down, it's all cut out using, uh, you know, just plain electrical black electric tape. The image is uh, called Team 7 and it's a negative, basic, or taken, taken from a, uh, a negative uh, 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 a photo, so everything that's white is black and everything that's black is white as far as if it were to be reversed. So all the shadows are, are what's white and it's just on foam core here. This is another uh, drawing called MBC which stands for Most Valuable Cat. It's a, it's a fun drawing, I really like working on it and I, I like that kind of stark confrontation that happens with this cat image which is done in Sharpie uh, on top of just kind of a background that's composed of uh, bits and pieces and snip, sniplets of uh, other uh, visual debris that, that I collect on, you know, margins of sketchbook or so forth. So, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what part of Texas? You're I'm from Austin, Texas. Uh, I went to, I got my undergraduate from the Cleveland Institute of Art and then my graduate degree from Washington State University. You had to school with that child? Yes.